Okay, let's get into everything. Starting a little bit earlier today because, uh, well, I've had a change of plans for tonight. So uh, I thought I'd start a bit earlier, still get that time in uh, for this character. Because, yeah, why not? I want to make the progress and, well, let's make sure we actually get that progress today. We're back here in Evendim, starting this new book. I think we have at least two more books to go till Moria. So we'll see how that goes today. I'm really hoping for level 50 with the double XP. I think we should be able to get there. Uh, so let's hope that goes the way we want it to. Um, we should be able to go... Ah, oh, see. Okay, Mena Rain is probably better at the minute. So let's go over there. Here we are. I was going to go over to the other Anuminous, but it's just not worth it, considering the placement. So why not? I was going to play on Arkenstone today. I actually did uh, load that up first uh, before I loaded up this, but I kind of decided against it. I'm not going to worry about that Platinum, because I kind of didn't know what I wanted to do. I spent a bit of time on there last night gathering some more materials for my weaponsmith, but I just, it's going to be a long time. I thought I was further ahead. I think I'm further ahead on my weaponsmith on here than I am on Arkenstone, which is uh, a little embarrassing. <laughs> I thought I was a little bit further than I was, um, but it's not that bad because it's pretty easy to gather low level materials like currently having to get dwarf iron so just angmar nothing's attacking us so uh, it's pretty easy it's just the experience takes so so long um but once we get to like well with this character is going to be our prospector and stuff but once we get to like um anorian stuff it becomes a lot easier because not only do we get like crafting instances, the for oh, I'm so far past where I need to be. Not only do we get crafting instances a little bit later, uh, from like tier 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I think is how that works. Um, oh, do I just have to fight you? Oh, okay. Um, but not only do we get like crafting instances, I did not mean to attack you, but we get... Um, I know better areas for, like, chests and stuff. Like, Anorian, I know, like, the perfect place for gathering wooden chests and stuff, which have pretty much every uh, different material in them. So that's actually a really super easy tier. Uh, but we've got to get to that tier first. What do you need? But the good thing is, because currently the max is level 100 with the Norian, getting those materials is going to be easy, so we can craft a lot of those things. Barad, turn on. Where on earth? Oh. Oh, and enter this area. Ah, got you. It's a fellowship quest. A clue found upon the body of one of the it was this area. we got to go find Laird, and I think... Is there any enemies here? There are. And I think we can just run past them, right? Okay, maybe they just aggro straight up because it's an instance. That might be it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. At least with this, we are getting uh, the bands of Numenor. So that's good. Well, occasionally getting them. So, luckily we unlocked that last time. So, it allows us to use that to our advantage. Is it only those three enemies? Well, there's more in here. I wonder if... If I go over here, are they going to... Oh, there's four. Do they... Aggro? Okay. They've got, like, a higher aggro range. Or, like, they have a invisible line of something that guarantees they fight us. Which is... Fair enough. Uh, I probably should take care of you first, even though you're not ranged right now, because 
there's a chance you may go ranged, and that's a problem. Feels like I've forgotten how to use Hunter, even though it's the only character I've been using. Actually, that's a lie. I've been playing Lawmaster recently, um, trying to relearn that. I think that's been quite fun. But I've just been going around like low-level areas, letting my pet attack stuff, because I'm trying to gather some low-level materials. And I thought, hey, why not? Let's gear this guy up by doing some quests, but also if I kill, like, you know, brigands and stuff, they can drop scholar items, and they can occasionally drop scroll cases, and, and all that jazz. Uh, let's hope that he doesn't talk for more than a minute, and then I think we are good. Okay, cool. One of my favorite things to do is just trap the enemies while they're having their little monologue. I always find it funny. And we might be able to kill him before the interrogators. No, maybe not. How's this work? He's interrogating. I don't know if they affect it or... I don't know why he went up morale, unless the interrogators give him morale. I think it's better that we just focus on him. We've got the inspiration, so we I don't think we'll die. We're pretty well off in that regard. Hey, perfect. I would have thought that these guys may have, like, run away or disappeared, but I guess not. Fair enough. 500 XP, pretty much, is uh, is nice to have. And that was a pretty easy instance. Obviously, that 500 XP is because it's doubled. But it brings up a point of how much experience we're getting okay. per kill. Uh, let's go with that. What do you need? Or per quest, sorry. Uh, what's that? 16k. Difficult to see. Yeah, 16294. Oh, and now we're over here, which is kind of nice that they just swift travel us over here, but at the same time, uh, it's kind of annoying because it means I definitely, not that I was planning on going away anywhere, but it means I definitely have to do this questing now all the way till we get back because I don't want to have to manually travel, even though we've got the gaff off near, traveling from here to here is a bit of a pain, because we know that area is a bit awkward. But, um... Yeah. We'll uh, we'll see how that goes. I also realised that by getting to... Oh, he's not actually... He doesn't count. By getting to 50 today, hopefully, we should unlock the... Um, that's not what I'm after. That's the carrier. We should unlock this thing, having the um, legendary things. I, I would have thought. I understand it not being there, like, now. Even though we have uh, Secret Deep Places. I would have thought Secret Deep Places would be the court, like, the requirement. But I guess not. And fair enough. Um, but I'm thinking level 50. And then level 100 should be for Imbue, I assume. But we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, let's get rid of this deed. And I guess this deed as well. That one should be... Oh, how have we got zero out of that? Like, a zero out of six. Surely we should have only got the deed if we found a thing. Like, why would we have got the deed? I don't know. This thing works in weird ways sometimes. Uh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be trying to kill. Oh, I'm, I'm not even killing, like, I could run past these if I really wanted to, but, yeah, we need to, uh, I think go down here, no, no, I'm wrong, okay, at least we're getting stuff from it, like, experience is always nice, I guess, no matter how 
or what form it comes in. We should also be able to use these now because they're on level. So I'm hoping that works out well. And we also got a weaponsmith case, which is good. I do like getting new uh, weaponsmith cases. Since that is our main focus. Uh, are we even picking up? Um, like any, I guess they're maybe in here. Yeah, exceptional hides. Yeah. Um, which way am I going? Oh, I did not mean to do that. That was a terrible idea. I am now four on one. I normally can handle two on one, but four on one is a little bit of a bigger issue. Uh, as long as I use blood arrow, I should be pretty good though, I think. Okay. Cool. And I think if I take him out, it doesn't aggro him. Hopefully. Good. And then we can go this way and then do what we need to do. I mean, killing enemies while having to go against enemies isn't necessarily a big deal. Um, considering I did say, hey, I want experience. But at the same time, if I can sneak past and do a quest quicker, quests do give more experience on average, so, like, for, or they just, they generally do give more experience, like, if we're getting 20k from a quest, then clearly I'm going to want to try and do those as quickly as possible. Why are you, I thought I killed you. I keep thinking I have Heartseeker, but I don't because I've not put anything into Redline yet because I'd rather fill out this first. I'd rather get to like Rapid Fire and um, have the increased focus per like second, whatever it is, this thing. Precision. Yeah. One focus every uh, three seconds, which just means when we're running around, we can go straight into something, have focus maxed out straight into a uh, penetrating shot barrage penetrating shot or technically the other way around is probably better because we can go to barrage two um and then yeah though technically we should uh do uh barbed arrow first to get that damage over time right we're finally here uh, Poisoner, 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 Jailer. I'm getting weird lag. Poisoner. So there's the four Poisoners, and then there's another Jailer. Or this one by the time stuff respawns. Then we will just probably get on our horse, run through. I'll probably get dismounted. But I think that should be fine. We can generally run away. Uh, and get away with it. And what are we getting from all this? All minimum level 50. Are they better? It gives more agility. I don't know why I don't just look in my inventory. Uh, yeah, that's a nice upgrade. We might even switch to that now, actually. And this I can just open because we can just get rid of it. This is heavy armor. This is medium armor and level 50. 74 agility. We lose vitality. But... I think it's probably worth it in the end, I would have thought. Right, then this one. I think this is... I can't remember if we have to come back here. I don't remember these quests all that well, because I think I just did them pretty quickly the original time I did them. Um... Recover the key. Oh, so I can't even just... Oh, I've got to kill this dude up here. I've got to come through here. He spawns... Is it him? No. What am I thinking of then? Oh, it's here with the gatehouse. Okay. 
Yeah, there's like a troll or something that comes out. I'm pretty sure. I didn't realize you were there. You were hiding. How dare you. And we've already used all our bonus at XP for today, pretty much, by the time we even get to this quest completion. Uh, okay, we can get inspiration. We might as well get that first. Then I probably should let my health regen. But I think we're fine. Oh, what does this give us? That is only, like, slightly better. It is better. I'd rather max morale than combat morale regen. Um... And then we get four more agility, and we do get one more vitality, so we don't actually lose out on any stats, like pure stats. Hey, and we got a page as well, perfect. And we'll go through here, because that's actually a bit easier. I didn't realize this area was available to go through. I'm hoping we were quick enough that our enemies aren't respawning yet at the very best it'll only be um okay we did take long enough i was gonna say at the very best it could be that these enemies all despawn and then the only ones that respawn are the ones at the very beginning sadly that doesn't seem to be the case but as i said we are just going to run through because mostly these should be uh unaggroing from us and the only things that can really hurt us, for the most part, are the archers. Now, unfortunately, the archers can do damage over time, which is going to affect us. But I think we'll be fine. If we really need to, we do have press onwards, which is luckily not induction, uh, which, in fact, we should probably use. Need to also put a load of points into that still, because I want that extra 10%. Um, because currently it's 5% and I want to double that up and that should put us up to an extra 5% than what we have so it should be like what 22.5% and obviously the more vitality max morale and stuff since it's percentage based that will increase as well I don't know if it's best for me to do a blood arrow on someone just to get that morale. Oh, uh, don't knock me out. That's like the worst thing you could have done to me. Yeah, exactly the reason it's the worst thing you could have done to me. I think I could have used Cry of the Hunter. But I'm fine respawning because it also gets them all off my back. Um, but yeah. So as I was saying, the plan for today is uh, probably just getting to 50. I think once we get to 50, we will finish off just because today is kind of all over the place for me uh, in terms of in terms of what I'm trying to uh, or what I need to get done. So I wanted to stream. I thought I'd stream a little bit early or earlier uh, just so we can actually get that stream in at least. Okay, luckily. Oh, it's just this dude again. Because, yeah, I want to I wanna stay consistent with the streaming, but because of things that have come up, I need to uh, run off later. Luckily, I was about to say, luckily, these enemies are pretty easy, I think. I probably should give myself a bit of time to regen my morale. Um, should take less than a minute. I could even just do this. Get that extra boost. You hear something coming? Well, I'm sorry. Should have been a little less lazy off the bat. I do hate any of these like cave crawlers and stuff. They're always the most annoying enemy. Like, orcs are fine. Because at least, like, they have a lot of purposes behind them. These are less so. They're just, like, worthless enemies. Orcs are, like, the best enemies right now. Because we've not only got, like, Orc Slayer deeds. We've also got Enmity. And we've also got, um, Shot in the Dark with Hunter and Furthest Charge. Which are really close to finishing Furthest Charge, actually. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I think this... 
this way. Why did you have so much morale gone to start with? I need to pay attention to them when they spawn because they're going to catch me off guard. Hey, that's good. A page. I think it's good that we're... I think Shot in the Dark had five, must have had five pages then, so it's good we're actually getting those numbers down. Uh, I'd, I'd rather keep them all roughly the same. It would be pretty nice. Oh, what did I say? I literally said it five minutes ago. Right. I wonder if they'll spawn here or if they'll spawn over there. I'll keep an eye on the map. Or just keep an eye generally on the screen. That would be a good idea. This would be the one time they don't spawn, though. I can guarantee it. Right. Or do they spawn when you come past? Is it like the dead bodies? Looks to be. Okay. So, I wonder if there's a way we could technically get away without being attacked by them. Probably not. No, okay. So maybe we could, but it isn't even tied to, um, it's not tied to the enemies. It's just tied to walking over the bodies of, uh, these guys. So, can I make sure I walk down the stairs? Otherwise, I am going to accidentally aggro the other guys, and that's just going to be, even with inspiration, probably just too much to focus on. Um, but we are getting Aetherless Essences, actually, so that's pretty good. Let's see if we can get past this time. I'm probably not, actually, because there was one there, and I think there's one there. But I wonder if it's possible. Find out. Also... Just trying to work out... So those are the gloves I kind of want to go for. And those ones I'm also interested in. Ah, uh, see, I have to go this way, which means... Ooh. I'm not going to go and check, because there's a high chance that... Um... Oh, it's you. There's a high chance that there is stuff there. And... Me going back to check whether or not I've skipped it kind of ruins the idea of trying to skip it. Um, oh, actually, let's put down our trap as usual because there's an enemy monologuing and it's like our biggest thing that we punish on here. Right, exsanguinate. And I wonder... Okay. I wonder... Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. That's easy. And luckily, transports us here. I mean, it technically wouldn't have mattered because of... Uh, is that... No, that's worse. So, none of these are better. Okay, fine. Um, okay. Going back to what we said before uh, in the last stream, this is uh, where they decided, hey, we really like teleporting the player around. Collect watching stone orders. Um, I've got to go back through here. That's just a bit annoying. I don't know the best way to do this. I'm kind of thinking about grabbing this campsite. Or actually, we might grab this campsite. Because then I can be really dumb about going down here. And then we can get out of combat or something. Or go into, I think... No, the condom instance is there. But we should be able to get, like, into something over here, I think. And we can... Um, if, as long as we can get out of aggro for a little bit, we can just come back over here. 
So we'll we'll try and be a little bit silly about it. Also, it means if I die here because we can't revive, we can get back here pretty easily. Also, whilst we're traveling, let's have a look at our points. Let's spend those there just to get a little bit of DPS increase. And let's see how this works out for us. Because, well, that was obviously just a, a really quick quest. But we got about 8k now. Um, so looking at our XP, it's like 10 to 12 quests, I think, for us to level up. So I think if we get through the books today up to Moria, then I think... Um, where am I trying to go to? How does this work? I've got to like go further up this way and then to the left. Um, yeah, if we get to like Moria stuff today, then I think we can... Um, we can do stuff or like level up is what I'm trying to say. I got really distracted, but yeah, we can um, get things to work out well. I think I've gone the wrong way. I really, yeah, I do. So I'm going to desperate fly it, which is probably a terrible idea. At least Desperate Flight gets us here. I'm just trying to work out how to get there. I wish I could kind of zoom in on the map a little bit. I see where it is. I see that. But... I don't know. Let's see how things go with this. I mean, I should just bite the bullet and kill the enemies, but I would rather just get through, kill what I need to kill, and be done. But I can't, I can see that path there, so it has to connect here somehow. But I can already see the map is slightly off, because we're a bit further over than we should be. So... Yeah. I don't understand. Uh... I'm also looking at the map, trying to find it. Alright, we're gonna die here. But I don't know how to get there. It's fine. I need to look up. At least we go back here when that happens. But I need to look up... Notro Book 12, Chapter 8. Um, but where is it? Is my problem. I can't look at it too long. Because for some reason my Chrome is like... Flashing at me for some reason. Like, it doesn't do it on any other monitor, and it doesn't do it. I should actually just change monitors. Makes sense. On, only on my main monitor, but nothing else does. So, like, the game is fine, for example. Um, do we just do it? Like, fight the enemies? Maybe. It's going to take a lot longer 
but I think it's going to be quicker than me dying constantly. And maybe it gives me a bit of time to, like, find the location. I've done this quest, like, at least three, maybe four times now. Minimum. So, I should know where it is. But apparently I'm just really struggling. Actually, that brings up a very good point. I should really be killing these guys anyway, just for the um, the pages. It's actually really dumb of me not to be doing. These less so. I only get a deed for them. And that's less. It's well, less important, yeah. Because I get trait points from this, but I don't get from that. I get virtue points. I don't get traits. Um... Try and not aggro either of those, because I'd rather not go against the warg. We can be sneaky with this, just be outside of their range. Uh, right. So let's be... Like, normal about this. Looking at the map. There's wargs up on this side, so we do need to watch out for that. I think I know what I want to do here. Pick you out. As long as I can kind of be in the middle here, I can... Oh. Why do you have to walk into me? Huh? How is that fair of you? So if I take this one out, I should be able to have a nice little little bit of uh, freedom. I might have to take out the Arrow Master as well, but I should have a bit of freedom where I can kind of just look around for a bit. Um, which is really what I'm after, because uh, that way we can just look around. I was so worried then, because I pressed 2, which is normally where I have Rapid Fire. Okay. How... Do we get to there? Does it say? I don't know how to get there. I'm so confused. Can I zoom into Kandum? No, I can't. Like, because it looks like it's like right there. Oh, I see something. Okay, I see something there. I'm hoping we get... Actually, to be fair, I think some of these pages aren't going to drop. Because if I remember correctly, we also have to go to, like, Farakel and stuff. So, Which is good, because... Let's hope we can get through here. Oh, almost. Um, yeah, we can go to... We, we go to Farakel later to find Narquil. So... That's something at least. And as I was saying, how we probably won't get it. Here we go. Oh, actually it makes sense that it's just the place that we went to previously. I wonder if there's a way if you were in a fellowship. Because you like share the quest or whatever. If you could send one person in here. I mean, it's far enough away that you probably don't get the drop since there is a distance limit, but I wonder if you could get someone to stay by 
the guy giving the quest. Come here, complete the quest. And then... Is that not... Ah, okay. I didn't see this place before. Yeah, get them to complete the quest and then still be here. And then they come through and... Like... Be here already. Because it's kind of annoying when you complete a quest. Like, you you come to here. I didn't even aggro you. I didn't even click on you originally. But you come over here to get the key. And then you... Yeah, you come over here to get the key. Which is all fine and dandy. Or kill the, like... Yeah, kill the, the poisoners and jailers. Then get the key. Then you have to go back. Then you have to come back again. And even by the time you've gone through here, or at least with us, by the time we got through here to get the uh, stuff, everything had respawned. Everything's then also going to respawn again. So you got to kill like the same enemies like three times. Two quests. And also, if I had known this was here, so if I ever do this again, I think it's going to be very, uh, like, I should be able to run through with my horse. Just straight up. All right, I'm hoping... Yeah, you've got a lot less now. And I think just take more damage. I'm not sure the how that works, but... Right, how many... So I have to defeat one of you. So I'm not going to worry about the two that are next to each other. I'm going to wait till you go, and then I'm going to try and take you out. You kind of have to eyeball it a little and also by the time induction goes then generally it's a little bit better okay cool and then we just have to return to camp so yeah that's all good and nice back here for the third time after my well, not death this time. Okay, now what you want us to do, recover Narquil. Then we go, oh, okay. So this is the one where we recover half of Narquil. Find out that obviously the other half's not there. And all that jazz. I need to remember when I go into these instances that have inspiration, I should let my health regen a little bit. We're generally fine because the enemies aren't, like, it's in substitute of a fellowship. So, you know, we shouldn't die even with the 8k, but... Especially one on one, but I definitely need to uh, sort that out. That doesn't work because it's not percentage based, I don't think. No. It would be cool if it was percentage based, like increases by, I don't know, 50% or whatever, but. Because then when you get inspiration it would be such high, so, like, such a high number. But I guess it's already a high enough thing anyway, because, well, it's, uh, the inspiration and stuff. All right, give me one second. I'm just gonna let my cat out. I knew it would be a terrible time to leave, but at least it only just happened, like, as I sat down. But yeah, I, I should have probably gone down there. He was, like, scratching at the door, so I thought I wouldn't be cruel, I'd let him out straight away. Um, okay, I need to be less wary. Because, yeah, Inspiration is here for a reason. It's so we can take on multiple enemies at once. I thought we were going to aggro all four, but apparently not. So that's actually even better than before. Okay, awesome. And even more enemies. But that's fine. A 
though. Surprisingly, the hounds didn't aggro me. I mean, obviously they will now, because I've just attacked them, but you would have thought, like, since he was the hound master, and also because they were also close, that they would all aggro. But I guess not, which is fine, <laughs> I guess. It's not really... I don't think that makes a particular difference to us, at least. But... Because a lot of this is, like, four on one. I think we were just lucky with the earlier bit where there was would have been five on one with the Hound. So, I just think it's weird that they'd... I don't know. I guess they weren't allies. Like, he's an ally to the Blood Lair. Also, I wonder if... I can never remember if these disappear after. Yeah, cool. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. It's a weird thing. And I got a Barrel Shard. How lovely. These instances are great for Slayer Deeds, I can tell you that. Right, so that was uh, five Lotro points, Bane of the Orcs. You would have thought the Bane of the Orcs would be the title given for, like, advance, but I guess they have to give you something for advance, like, the basic one. Otherwise, what would be the point almost? Like, you get five Lotro points, you don't get any virtual experience, you don't get any marks. Um, I guess rep would be nice. Like, a, a, a bit of rep. Less rep, obviously, but... A bit of rep. I thought I killed the blood letter. Why was I attacking the other thing? I, I in my head, I even said, oh, well, this is spawned. I'll kill the blood letter. Because then I only have to kill one enemy rather than two. Also because I think they can spawn multiple. And that's not fun. But I don't know. Oh, uh, legendary weapon. Not quite enough yet. Uh, how many? Okay, that's our final one after that. Rank seven. So, that's quite an increase, though. It's pretty high increase. So, that should be, I don't know, a couple levels. And then we can start focusing on Hunter damage over time. Though, next level, we do have to reforge it. Which is going to be a bit of a problem. Depending on, like... It depends on where we are quest-wise. Because if I am here... I guess I have the campsite now. But I'm going to have to go to somewhere that has a... Um, Relic and Forge Master, because we're not level 50 yet. Though that said, we have gotten a decent amount of experience, at least like 20k uh, in the last little bit. I don't know how much of that is just through kills or questing. I feel like we haven't really done that many quests. Um, though I guess we've done a few. It probably won't be in our thing, but I guess we've done a few. It's just been like go to A, go to B. Like talk to this person. But I think that's kind of good for us, though, because if the quests almost feel like they've not been there, uh, that means we've been progressing through them relatively quickly. I don't know why that didn't work. Um, but also it means that, I'm assuming, the uh, like enemy kills that we've been doing have made a decent effect on... Um, or have had, yeah, have had a decent effect on... Um, I was looking for secret stuff. Yeah, they've had a decent like effect on our uh, total XP. Don't know why I found it so difficult to describe that. What can I do for you? Okay, so vitality increase, agility increase, power increase, and uh, power decrease, but morale increase. Uh, we've only got those as the set now, so we never actually even got the set to the morale region I don't think so I think that's probably our best choice since our plan is uh, once we get to 50 I think we want to uh, probably meld a I think yeah I think we should be able to meld a why didn't they just take us to Elrond uh, they might be able to meld us or make us meld a hunter's sword because I have the hunter's axe but I don't really like the axes. Also, it means that we can get a full focus on... I don't even know where the axe is. Did I chuck it? I may have. Um, but we can get like a full focus on the bow. And they're not even that great because annoyingly, um, you can't deconstruct them after. So it kind of ruins the whole thing. Which is kind of sad. I should probably put this on. Yeah, it's 
That's all right. Um, and yeah, then I should probably look at my stuff here. Okay. Agility will fate. We lose vitality. Not good. Otherwise, I would have said it's good. If I had vitality instead of will, that would have been, like, perfect. Because it would have been agility, fate, vitality. And that would have been, like, the best of both worlds sort of thing. Or the best of our world for Hunter, I guess. I don't know how you describe it. I'm going to get rid of this black badge. And then once we get to 50 today, we'll probably put on... Probably these, since we get the extra morale from those uh, shoulder pads. And I think, I don't know for this quest specifically, but we get a new cloak here. So that's actually a vitality decrease, which kind of sucks. But it might be worth for the vitality, or the, uh, the agility rather. It's sad though that this one, like there's seemingly heavy armor, light armor, because like, it's will might it's sad that there's not an agility one like i understand you get agility from that but i'd rather probably that was like might vitality fate this was fate will vitality as it is already and then there's a third one for like medium which is um agility vitality fate so we'll pick it up obviously because we have to but we probably won't be putting that on um I mean, technically it's an increase to our agility, but I think we'll probably be able to find something better. Um, I could probably go on the... Let's even go. Lotra Taylor. Let's go have a look at Taylor recipes for level 50. So, Exceptional Hides Master. Let's have a look at Cloaks. Um... Okay, maybe not. Oh, interesting that they're not. There's not a lot of like there's level fifty armor, which for the most part is single use recipes. I think they're all single use recipes, but all the cloaks are not that great. I wonder then if uh, supreme is better for it. They're all like fifty eight though, because all the other ones are like forty two and also don't give any agility. So, we kind of miss out on things. But these are better because, like, Officer's Cloak, for example, which the critted one gives you less vitality or agility. So that's weird. Normally that would be, like, a different thing entirely. But the Officer's Cloak, for example, gives 137 vitality or agility, 70 vitality. If you crit it, it gives you 107, no, 104 agility and 108 vitality. So that's weird to see but that's definitely the upgrade we're looking for now we just need to wait for this thing to go i'm also going to quickly check whilst we're here um these broken wooden clubs gaff forth now we'll probably jump over there just to give these in since we have 50 of them uh on this character we only have five daily tasks i don't think i've really done any of them but they are level 49 well actually no level 47 so it might even be better to try and do Jeweled Sword Chiefs and Albino Skins first. And then that should be two, three, four, five. And then we'll have, for tomorrow, we can just give those in if we don't do anything. Um, but for now, we just need to sit down and wait. Do slash sit. Uh, would help if I could spell, huh? Is that better? No. It's also spear. I don't know why. I don't think it makes that much of a difference, but I'm really, like, tunnel visioned almost on. I have to have a sword, and I have to have, uh... A bow. I mean, bow is obvious, but I don't like... I, d I don't go for, like, a crossbow, for example. And 
I won't like I don't like having that dagger. So what would happen is when we, um, I mean right now it's better, so we probably would keep it, but we'd have a sword as our offhand, which is also something I need to do because I uh, I realized on my level one hundred thirty hunter on Arkenstone that uh, I'm currently using a level one fifteen sword that isn't that great anyway and the the difference between um like a level one third obviously between like 115 and 113 uh one uh 130 rather is going to be a lot but like it's a lot even for like a non-crit one um now when it says first floor does it mean i'm pretty sure it means like ground floor I think it's in the guest chambers. Yeah, cool. What do you need? Might you spare Sometimes you just need to remember where the game was made to work out if it's first floor or ground floor. Um, okay, what we're going to do quickly before going to uh, Forakel, uh, because we need to go to Evanim for that, we're going to go to Gath Forfnir, as we said, get those um, bits of experience that we need. See how much that gives us. So he said uh, we're going to go with jeweled sword sheaves. And do I have albino skin? Albino skin. And then we'll also have broken wooden clubs. I don't know who to give it into. Is it the guy up here? I think it is. Yeah. So it's a bit annoying because there's like quite a lot of travel. Like it's generally better when there's a, a chest next to it or something. But greetings. How can I be of service? Oh, that I kind of ruined that. That's annoying. I, I shouldn't have done that that way. I kind of forgot that was a thing. So we're getting like two k. So we'll give in. Another jeweled sword chief and a broken wooden club. So, what's that, 10k? That's alright. For like a little bit of work, 10k experience. At the very least, it would be good to do this, like, if I'm not gonna play and like do active leveling up, then it's still good to do these because we can use the bonus experience to our advantage. What do you need? Kind of annoy myself that I've messed up the, uh, the task thing. Just because I didn't, uh, or I just went through them too quickly. So that's task limit reached. Obviously, over time we can increase those, so it's fine. Um, we'll eventually get six. I think. I don't even know how you. Obviously, you can buy them, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, twenty k or ten k rather, getting us that little bit closer. So what? Assuming we're getting like. How much do we get? 9,000. That one's obviously just a vector, so it's not a huge deal. But let's say 9,000. It's about five quests to level up. So that should be pretty good. We're going to have to go to Evendim, go to Gathforfnir. Gathforfnir? Gath... Ostforod. That's what I'm thinking of. And then, yeah, we'll work on everything from there. Uh, I wonder if... I don't think I have it. How can I, be of service? I don't see a reason I would have it. But we can go Osforod. Because we've definitely been there. And then I... Think... Weird how it goes that direction. Actually, no. That completely makes sense. I always think that that's like to the south or something. But we'll swift travel over there. I don't think that'll give us... Um... the option to go to sorry Kyla or anything like that but we don't even need to go there because we need to go to uh this area which is also good because there's a load of quests around here because we don't even need to just do the main quests um there's just a load of I think pretty pretty easy quests um so looking at it no okay um so this area is this one uh, we don't unfortunately have it, and we can't even go for mithril coins or whatever. We could buy them, but I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather just travel manually. But yeah, definitely want to get those, because then we can get there pretty easily by just going uh, 
Tinnadir, Osphorod, and then obviously Swift Travels are there. Um, in fact, I also want to check... It's probably not worth it, because I think your quests are really low level. 35. Yeah, it's... It's one of those quests, I might just pick it up for the sake of picking up, because it's a half an hour quest, but you can't complete it. There's no completion to it. Uh, so, I don't see... Like, it's not for the sake of getting XP, I don't think, but it's one of those things where I, I've got to wait around for it, so I might as well get it while I'm doing other stuff. Um, I don't know if for this area I've done that many quests... Pilgrim of Evendom, 30 out of 60. So I think, I don't know if that's the final one. There's a lot to do in this area. Um, but luckily all these enemies don't attack us now. Wasn't that long ago I was doing all the quests around here. Uh, what was that? Rich iron. I'll go for it, why not? And that probably wasn't worth it. But whatever. But yeah, I'm I'm hoping I can't remember if you can. Like I don't have anything technically to meld, I don't think. I mean I have the, like the lower level uh like tier ones of these. I have some tier threes. And I could probably I don't know, if I could gather some like if I go to Moria. I could get, because at 50 we can also get the Ekad Dunan travel skill, we should be able to, for the quest completion. So that's good, that works out. But I want to get some, like I'll have to get some runes to melt, like deconstruct to meld into, I just need shards. So I don't know if the best way of what the best way of doing that is. Well, I do know the best way of doing it, but it's not really viable for us at the moment. So, yeah. Just one of those things that we've got to work out. Because... Oh! That's interesting. Yeah, I think it's because i got two of these that shows up, but... The, like, you're interacting with another item I'm PC and cannot do that right now. But, uh, this is magically shown up. So maybe because we got to, like, 49 or something, I wasn't really paying attention. But, uh, it allows us to have a look. So, melding. Uh, obviously we can meld those. Legacies and legendary support. That's fine. Right now, it won't let us craft anything because we're not at that level. But it does show us that we can meld those. We'll, we need like 186 or something like that. So 9, 18, 27, 30. We have 30 shards. Not really viable. We can't deconstruct this weapon so what would have to probably happen is we probably have to get a legendary weapon even if it's not our legendary weapon. Um, identify it and then deconstruct it. I don't know if you can do that with over-leveled stuff. If I got like a level 100, I obviously can't equip it, but can you level it up? I assume not, but can you identify it? Probably. I would have thought. It's not something I think I've ever tried. Because I don't know if you can get like, if you could get a level 100 and like assuming that you had crafted like a bow or something, or like you had your legendary weapons. And just separately, whenever these were maxed, you were just leveling up a level 100 or a couple level 100s. Just so when you get to that thing, that time, you have all the legacies for it. Because I can't imbue, obviously, till 100. But I could also buy... Hunter's Sword of the Third Age. I guess for 100 silver, we could try. Like, we... I assume can... Like, uh, even if it's 100, I guess we could pick it up and just hold it in our 
auction uh, in our thing vault. So I'm gonna I, I might buy both of them because it's only 200 silver. That's literally a couple kills. And I just wanna. I just want to see. And worst case scenario, we can also just deconstruct them. Because why not? Right, let's get out of aggro first. So we can check. Pick you up. Because that's important. For us getting back here at a reasonable time. Yeah, because there's a bunch of like really easy quests. Am I still aggroed? I am. I could just kill it. And that would probably be quicker. But part of me doesn't want to. Uh, right. So if I were to identify this weapon, I don't even know what Needful Haste is, but that's fine. Can I, okay, so you can't slot it, fair enough, but if I, um, I can deconstruct him. And I can get tier ones, which isn't great, but it's something. So, I could probably buy a load of really cheap third age. And then we sort by unit buyout. And we could buy these really cheap items that nobody really wants. And we could deconstruct them and eventually get what we want. Because I think we've just bought all the hunter stuff. It's a thought. We won't worry about it too much for the moment. Really what ideally we should... Well, I shouldn't even worry about it because right now because there's a high chance that we can't even meld something at 50. But what I'm going to do is, uh, even though we got that quest completion, I'm going to pick up these quests because there's a couple easy quests like this one. Um, we also have the Lost Fellowship somewhere around here. I think we have to go talk to the guy. I don't know where he is. He might be here. But... This thing is good for the yeah, we got a lot of... A lot of yeah, this is the Law Master. That makes sense. Easy-ish quest completions. It's not going to be a lot of experience by any means, but it's going to be more experience. Well, like, experience for pretty quick things. Like, those are 2k, so it's not great, but these are just, hey, go talk to this person, get some quest uh, completions, and get a quest chain started. Because I think it's the way they do it, in a sense. Like, if I have to, if I got this one, and it's a very easy quest, like, you talk to this person, go over here and talk to that person. That makes me want to do that quest because I feel like it's going to be easy. And then I'm going to be out there with the sentry post and it's going to be like, hey, now I've got another quest for you. Um, like, and it's going to get be like, oh, whilst I'm here, I might as well. So it's kind of trying to sucker you in or pull you in to... Uh, yeah, trying to like pull you in to the quest chain, I guess. Surprisingly, those other quests didn't count. I guess the first one was Angmar. And the other just maybe doesn't count for some reason. Because we completed that and we completed another one already. Oh, did we actually complete it? Or did we just... No, we definitely did complete it. Either way, not a huge problem. Let's go find this sentry post. Here it is. Apparently it was too far away, even though I just clicked on it because it was easier. Like, if I click on him and I'll press Q on it, it'll just auto-run over there. But for some reason, I didn't like it that time. We'll also get a load of experience from actually killing the enemies, so that's even better. Um, and yeah, I should be killing you, actually, because I need to kill you for moose antlers.
cool Wolverines. There's a really hard Wolverine around us somewhere. But I think as long as we don't go against him, we're actually alright. And are we at high enough tier for this? We are good for a uh, master. So this is actually all the stuff we should be trying to gather. So as long as we... Like, I don't know. I, apparently I have zero dwarf iron. Um, even though I swear I picked... Oh no, it was rich iron. Not dwarf iron. So I can start picking these up. And then obviously as long as I don't go and waste... Uh, like going over 520 experience... Then we're good because I need to finish mastery of the other one first. I think this is where the uh, other Wolverine is, but there's a lot. Yeah, the snarling one. But there's a lot of these here. But I know we have to for a quest to kill it, so I don't want to. I don't know how long that quest is away, so I don't want to kill it now and then have to be waiting for it to respawn. There's a load of wolves over here, so we'll just use that to our advantage, and then I should be able to kill some wolverines sometime soon. Also, it's good, because we're getting exceptional height from this, which means we can start crafting stuff uh, for ourselves. I'll probably just craft level 48 stuff. I don't... Unless I have, maybe, the recipes. I think I have one level 50 recipe. But the problem is I'd rather crit them and I can't guarantee a crit unless I use the uh, optional crafting ingredients. Which you can technically get a lot of if you um, do it correctly. Because every two days, in theory, on a new character, you could get them. It's good that you do that, though, I guess. If you could get them after five... I assume what people would do is they would just make new characters over and over again. Because you could just make, like, a new Bjorning. Um, get them to, like, level... I think even level 5 would work. Give them, like, transfer them over, or even level 10, and then you'd also... By getting to level 10, you'd probably get a lot of task items. Um, then you could just trade over all the items they need, and then trade over the optional crafting ingredients. So... It's, I think, good on them to have not done that, because otherwise it's a 100% crit chance, I think, if you use it. I wouldn't be able to tell, apparently. Um, is it 100% chance? Yeah. It's 125% chance, even. It's even more than guaranteed. But you can get them every two days. So. But it also means you have no, no reason to make new characters over and over again. Which is good, you can just do them on... Like, it doesn't even have to be on-level task items, to be fair. How much experience are we getting from these? We're not getting a lot of experience from the enemies. I guess because they're technically passive enemies, they do actually reward less experience, which kind of sucks, but... And with these guys, because we're in Forakel now, we should... This one probably won't, but we should be able to get uh, the page drops from them now, which is good. So we should kill them, just because... Did I not get warg fat from that named warg? That kind of sucks. Um, I'm getting absolutely wrecked. Uh, Alright. So I think the raven is in an area with wargs. So we can do a few birds with one stone. No pun intended with trying to find his craven or raven. But... That'll work out well for us. Uh, I think Grimm's are a slayer deed around here as well. So technically, we could use that. But because I'm not worried too much about Slayer Deeds at the minute, I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. I'm not really too fussed. Um, if I'm going to do Slayer Deeds and stuff, I'd rather probably go back to like Bree Shire and stuff and just do those for the minute. Um, I think the way I want to do it currently is go through areas, complete quests first as a priority, and then... Uh, like, whilst we do the quests, we'll be getting most of the exploration stuff anyway, and then we'll come back to an area, and, um, yeah, we'll come back to an area, and most of the deeds should already be done, and then we can just, uh, 
complete a couple like remaining slayer stuff because also by doing quests and stuff like this for example we are assuming that wargs had a slayer deed uh, we would be adding to that number which yeah he's good I don't know if this forces spawns. I can't remember. I mean, I... I think I'm having a bit of struggles. Not on this character, but... Like on... Uh, Arkenstone, but that's more because I've been lazy and I've not geared myself properly because I knew I did struggle a little bit with the end of like Gundabad stuff, but I also understand that I've not equipped myself properly like There's a lot I could do But yeah, I kind of get where you're coming from I remember when Mordor came out there was like that massive leap in difficulty and that was both a good thing and a bad thing. I didn't realize he was getting attacked. Like, it, it was good because it made me, like, want to better gear myself up, which was nice. And also, when I eventually got some 106 gear, it was so much better than my 105 stuff. But it also makes me, like, sort of dislike Mordor because of, like... I like Mordor as a whole, I think. But... It makes me have bad memories of it. So. I'm just interested as well to see what this new area, because it's like, I think the first time, possibly ever, they're releasing a not max level area. I could be wrong. There might be another time that's happened, but considering it's like a third of the max level, being like 40, 45, um, sort of interested to see how it goes. I want to get a character to about that level uh, on Arkenstone for when it releases, but I don't actually know when that releases, so I should probably just get on that, make a character for that level, and then... Um, and then we'll just see where that goes. Like, when it just releases, I'm ready then. Oh. I need sinew. Is that uh, wolverines? I think it is. How far do you need to go before you're happy? <laughs> huh? Is there going to be one more spawn? There's a bit of ancient iron there, so I feel like as soon as I go for that, something's going to spawn and attack you. No? Hey, we're good. How many exceptional hides have we got? Uh, 37. Okay. And... That's not that bad, actually. Level 48 stuff. Yeah, I should, I should try and get some ancient silver. Uh, though I'm obviously in that area now, so that's kind of what I am after. And I should definitely try and craft these up because... Obviously the earrings are different because of the earrings we've got being like they obviously level with us but if I can get a critted actually version of that then oh and fury thank you for the follow hey ancient silver yeah like that seems good but I think it's it's the problem I have where I I focus purely on agility and don't realize I need to kind of be like average across it almost like i need that extra vitality an extra 100 vitality is nice plus the extra 288 morale would also be a nice little upgrade um the might less so but i mean we can also go for this which is uh less what we want but we also do have the at least this one but it's annoying that i've got the um the earring Probably the best single-use recipe to have is a necklace, since you only have to make it once. 
Um, but I am hoping that we can get some new stuff here. Um, also, with all the vendor trash we're getting, we can hopefully buy some more legendary weapons and do what we need to do with those. What's my... What did I apparently buy? Oh, okay. I got a receipt for this game and I was like, what did I buy from the store? Oh no, it's just my VIP renewing. Come on, let me out. Right, I need to kill one wolf and we might as well do the den mother. That's actually a terrible idea, I've realized, because I think the next quest is, hey, kill the den mother. And if she's not respawned yet, then that's going to be a problem. Um, I'm going to go back up there, try and kill some wolverines, I think. We'll see how that goes. Because I need the sinew. It is those to drop sinew, yeah? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I just don't think they guarantee drop one. The only annoying thing. Do I have any more quests? No. It's a very high concentration of ancient iron over here. I think it is a higher chance of um, ancient iron. I was reading yesterday a random forum post from ages and ages ago uh, from someone saying that um, they noticed ancient silver is a higher density. There's a higher density of ancient silver to ancient iron in Origin, like North Origin area. So I think if we need ancient silver then that is... It could be ancient silver. I can't remember. They just said it was like slightly different. Um... But I'm not entirely sure. Right. Let's have a look at how much these give XP wise. Because ideally we are looking for, well, I don't think it's going to be like 10k each. But I mean, the other quests that were on level, I mean, these are actually, oh, these are actually down like a few levels. So they're going to give us even less. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, these definitely aren't going to be as good as I thought. Two and a half K. It's something. I don't like that quest. I'm not going to do it. Something about that quest I'm just not a fan of. You have a quest, though. What is it? Defeat Block. We saw him. He's the one by the uh, river, I think. Doing this quest should start, I think, the Lost Fellowship deed. Maybe not. Will you let me speak my piece? Um, and you, that's not as good, but it's whatever. <laughs> Let's just get what we can done. So trade with you. I don't know what we're trading. I didn't really pay much attention to be honest. Um, and you've apparently got a quest. Did I not just pick yours up? Defeat the Snarling Wolverine. Ah, oh, that's the boss Wolverine. So that's uh, what we were supposed to be doing earlier. The cutting thing should be here. Yes, good. Oh, so that gave us 4k. Now we should be... I mean, they're giving us less experience, but they are um, better experienced. Yeah, that one takes us to this area. Yeah, cool. Uh, we'll go there anyway because we need to get the travel skill, but or the not the travel skill. Actually, that's a point. Uh, wayfaring. Uh, yeah, we we'll, we should be able to get that. We just need acquaintance standing with the loss of Thorakel, which I don't know. Let's have a look quickly because they make it so that you obviously need. I don't know if there's rep items that are. But what quest? You have to complete the Raven, which we've done. So we can actually get the reputation. But I don't know. Um, yeah, so you already have to go there previously. Like, it's not like you can get it separate from the fact. So I can't, like, cheat the system. Like with Rivendell, where it just gave us to it on like on level we actually have to um what am i trying to do we actually have to travel there at least once but that does mean that we can go back there anytime and there is a skirmish camp 
so we can just get the rep when we're there, which is nice. Um, also, I think these probably give us a bit of reputation as well, occasionally. Yeah. This ring, I used this ring a lot. I think this one. But I think what we've got right now is better. Um, so we'll we'll stick with that for the minute. I need to be just careful with the jewelry because I know I can craft stuff myself. So I actually have to like remember that and keep that in mind. Um, I realized recently, uh, since I was doing a load of leveling, because I wasn't actually Minas Ithil yet on my uh, jeweler, that it costs 30 Minas Ithil ingots to craft any of the jewelry. That is a lot. I think I found a pretty good area for gathering Minas Ithil ore, so I don't think it's a huge issue. It's just, that's a lot. Like, normally it's like two. And I get it, because it's like currently end game. And I'm not sure... I don't know. If they're bringing out, like, earlier areas, if they're bringing out areas in, like, level 45, are they just not planning on newer crafting tiers for a while because i mean minus if it was minus morgul stuff so that that kind of makes sense but there wasn't anything for war of three peaks even though that also kind of makes sense because it's not like a full-on expansion but i think you got no no you didn't no i was i was mixing up my expansions i was about to say you got a uh you got more from the Minus, uh, War on Three Peaks pack than you did from the Minus Morgul one, but that's a lie. I was thinking of the um, XP, uh, this thing. But that's, yeah, Minus Morgul. I don't even know what you get from War of Three Peaks, other than, like, a goat. Is there anything really that much more than that? War of Three Peaks. I bought it, and I don't even know what I got from it. Uh, the content, Bora Three Peaks Mount, Cosmetic Armor, Boar Mount, Carrial Selection Box, which I still haven't used and I don't know what character it's on, and the Orc Bane, I think it's, no, I don't even have it, uh, on here, and more bonus items, 10 1000 Virtue XP tone things, oh yeah, I've got that on this character, which is annoying because I can't use it, um, I think. Yeah, you just got, like, pets. Really wasn't that much. I understand it not being, like, a full-on expansion, but... I didn't realize how little you actually get. But that's fair. Right, so that's three more quests to give in. And the Wolverine should be up here. I think I killed it, but considering he's back so quickly, then I think we'll be fine. Um, but I don't also know, uh, oh, what's this? Oh, that's not as good. Yeah, I don't know, uh, when the quest to kill the Dem Mother is, because that is somewhere. It's better to kill these first, probably. Since I don't think that apparently aggro's, aggro's him. Alright, we'll, we'll make sure we sell these. This one's... Those are worth a lot, actually. Because, uh, yeah, we want to possibly be buying those, like, cheap legendary weapons that nobody wants. It is slightly annoying, though. It's probably not worth it. But I don't... Like, because we can't level them, obviously if you level them, they deconstruct for better. So that would help us out. But our issue is getting... Oh, there it is. Our issue is getting the first, like, legendary weapon that we can deconstruct. Because these we can't, sadly. And also, they only go to level 40, so they're not even that worth it, all things considered. Speaking of, let's quickly check. No, okay. Oh, yeah, no, I haven't leveled it up yet, because we know at 20 we do have to re uh, reforge it. But we did also find out that we can just do that from our inventory now, which is good. I thought we were going to have struggle with that. Okay, I'm already in battle. 
So who actually cares if I aggro any of the others? Just drop me some exceptional hide so I can craft myself some nice stuff. I don't even know if my uh, my guy is like at that level yet. He might still be on expert. I have a feeling he is. But I'm not sure. Also, I check. Okay. So, I couldn't remember if it's like you uh, when you aim proficiency or when you start mastery. Because obviously this we can crit. But this stuff we can't because we've not actually got mastery for it yet. Which kind of sucks that that's a thing. What on earth is this? Oh, it's been half an hour. <laughs> okay. I was like, what on earth is this low-level quest that we've got? Okay. So, how much experience do we need? 14,000. So, over four quests, like 4k each. Average. Three and a half K, something like that. Four K. You'd probably be worth a bit, because we can do that quest. I just think I have not great memories about it. I didn't really enjoy it. I spent a very long time around this time last year, actually, doing all the deeds in here. Um, we'll see about that. So I, uh, I think it was around this time I did my deeding episode. It is a brisk day, is it not? Okay. Cool. We also got some reputation um, from all this, which is nice to see. Um, right, where's this guy? So we completed 10 quests. That's pretty nice. Uh, we'll have to talk to this guy. We've also got to pick up that. I don't know where. Okay. Uh, we're three and a half K from leveling up. So this might level us up. Not quite, but we do have one more quest over here that is hopefully pretty easy. If I remember correctly, we just have to go over to it, kill it, come back, um, which is nice. Also, just to check. No. Okay. This doesn't have like a, a campsite because our campsite location in Kandum is probably not that useful at the minute. Or at all. I don't know if we even go back to Condom anytime soon. Or at all. Because the whole thing now is we go up here, and then we come over to Ziggland, and then we go up to here at some point, and the Narquil thing is down here. So then we go back to Rivendell. Then Lairdon runs off. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of forget some of the story, like, how it goes. I realized this recently. I don't remember, like, currently on Degrom, I'm at Southern Mirkwood. Once Southern Mirkwood's done, I don't think I remember how the story progresses. I understand we go, like, down the Great River and, like, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, I understand that we go down the Great River and we'll go into here. But is that then, like, um... Riders of Rohan? Because in my head, I feel like there's a... There's a, like... Something in the middle. <laughs> but I don't know. Or it might just be because Moria is, like, the first big, like, thing for me. That I remember in this game. Because I remember I bought the triple pack. And I don't even know what was included in the triple pack. Because I don't know what's included in the quad pack. Obviously, I got Mines of Moria... Uh, triple pack. I wonder if it's still a thing. Um. Shadows of Angmar, Mines of Moria, Siege of Mirkwood. I don't know. But yeah. That was like the bit, first big thing for me. Hey, level. That was like a really easy quest as well. Drive back the Watcher in the Flooded Treasury. Watch the, defeat the Watcher in the water. So that's just like the three things that we do with the Watcher. That kind of 
almost spoils it a little bit, doesn't it? If you then, like, if you get that deed and you know for a fact that you're going to get a, like, a rematch with it. Obviously, like, I know that's going to happen. But if you're playing for the first time, does that not spoil it? Right. Either way, we're going to go to here and then go to here. Um, then I do want to go to Ziggeland because as soon as the festival is underway, that is going to be a uh, very useful location for us since we'll have the travel skill to Surrey Kyla. And then, uh, am I going the right way? Probably not. Let's be honest. Oh, no, it's this way. Um, and then we can go Ziggeland and give in that, um, that drink. Because that's pretty easy experience and a really easy, like, half an hour um, to complete the in-league stuff. So... Definitely gonna try to do that a lot because we can also get the in league token. Assuming they haven't changed because it's been a while since I did it, I didn't really do them much last year. Um, but assuming they haven't changed, then we should be able to use the in league tokens to buy uh, festival tokens, which is good because I'm also looking out for some. Uh, uh, what was it I was looking out for? Oh yeah, I'm trying to buy some stuff from festivals that you can only get from them. Which is annoying, because I'm going to have to wait like a year total, but to go across all the festivals. Right. Oh, we also should have, now we're level 50, some armor upgrades, potentially. Uh, okay, that is not as good. Uh, but we did say the gloves we were going to change, right? I think we said these were better than those. Same armor... We get an increased agility, but we lose a bit of vitality. But we recently got a boost in agility, or vitality anyway, so. Um, I would love to go with those. Just losing the agility is kind of my big thing, though. Um, I think we're good for the minute. Let's see if I can get through here without dying or something. Um, I do want to know now, relic combination, melding, are we able to meld a... No, we can't. Okay. So maybe it's 55? Or 56? I can't remember, but... I thought we'd be able to make a level 50 weapon, but apparently we can't, which is kind of sad. Um, but what I think we'll do now is we're going to go... As I said, go here, go here, grab the rep for this area, get the travel skill for here. I'm going to go back to Rivendell, go to Ekad Candleth, go down to Ekad Origian, or Ekad Dunan, grab the travel skill from there. So we've got that area unlocked. I also want to see is there any we're missing. So Mitchell Dalving, Thorin's Hall, Oscarath, Bree, Estaldon, Evanim, Misty Mountains, West Angmar, Rivendell. Surikala, East Angmar. Am I going the right way? I think I am. Uh, yeah, that should be it. 56 is 21st Hall. So that'll be our next one. But yeah, we're just missing this one and... Eka Dunan now. But luckily, this is the only one we need reputation for. So Works out quite well for us, I think. It's nice to see. I think I'm just going to run past these guys. I'm also going to get rid of that because it's a waste of inventory space for me. And... Do I have... Oh, actually, I might have some... Uh, some good items in my vault for level 50 because I remember level 50 was the max level when the server first came out. And I remember in the first couple of days I had a player in Breland Vault uh randomly trade me a few items for Hunter. And I think I chucked him in my vault. Uh, yeah, this stuff. Cool. So annoyingly I can't use the earring. But our earring's better anyway. But this one is actually worse. Which actually kind of sucks because I've kind of been waiting for this stuff. 
Um, unfortunately, it's not as good as our current stuff, which, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Uh, but, oh, I did just put it in my vault. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, I wonder if there's anything in here that is useful to us. Um, I mean, the sealed relics are technically a thing, but as we've proven uh, just recently, uh, unfortunately we can't make or meld what we want from that. But I guess I have three relic bundles. I probably should just use them to use up the, uh, like, get the space back. Uh, so if I think, if I dismount. Do I have to, I have to deconstruct them. Why are the other two fine, but this one I have to deconstruct? Either way. We're obviously not going to use those, but I am to be made it's something at least. Right, let's, uh, give in this quest. Uh, I don't think it's better than our current stuff. Maybe the vitality is better, but we'll see. Uh, what is it? Okay. Uh, so less agility, more vitality, and will for the other thing, and it's not worth for the frost mitigation in my opinion, uh, honestly. And then, obviously, less vitality there. We do gain agility, though, but we lose the extra morale and non-combat morale regen, which is actually pretty nice. So I think that's a no for that one. Maybe one, I think the other ring might be better. So that might end up being switched out. But for now, it's a no from me, unfortunately. But that's fine. Not a huge problem. Um, hopefully I have, I only need acquaintance. So I'm not going to go to Kindred because I think it's going to be quite expensive. And I'm sure there's like quests we can do around. Because yeah, I'm a little bit low on marks right now. Because I recently have used quite a few of them, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure there's like quests around and also uh, just enemies that will drop eventually the items. But we're going to get quests done so much quicker if we add that travel skill that it's worth getting apprent uh, apprentice acquaintance now, I think. Oh, that's scary. One million XP. XP morale. I know what I'm talking about. Please don't be okay. Thank you. I was so worried for a minute that it was the uh, the roving threat that was seeing me. I was very very scared that that was uh, a thing. Okay. I'd find out what does that like camera jutting thing. I remember a post about it recently. Someone on like WoW I think found the issue for it and uh, how to fix it. But I, I remember looking at it and going, oh, that's good. But I was like laying in bed at the time on my phone. So I just didn't actively do anything about it. I guess while we're here doing not a lot, uh, let's just lock all those and get our scroll cases. And then, that's pretty much a gold. So that's pretty good. That's like 10 legendary items we can pick up. If we really wanted to. In fact, I kind of want to... Look, no. Nothing on there yet. It might even just be better looking up... Okay, so maybe bow isn't actually why I want to be looking up, considering. Um, but maybe, like, sword? One-handed... Level 45 to 50. Uh, that's the wrong way. And just see... Okay, no swords. Um, I guess we could look up those. I think the issue is a majority of the server is probably <laughs> at, like, max. Um, I would have thought. So I feel like even if I went weapons as a whole, 45 to 50, it's just a no-go. Um, if I go 50 upwards, there's going to be a lot. A lot of 58, 60. I wonder if I do 50 to 60. How that changes. 
literally two weapons. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping for a bit more there. Uh, 60 to 70. And then I, I pretty much guarantee if I do this, there's going to be actually not as much as I thought. I guess a lot of weapons are probably also put into the legendary item category because I know uh, legendary items we already saw there's quite a lot because we saw it by unit buyout because I mean other than these two there just isn't much there's not even first stages it looks like and they're all relatively cheap um, like if I wanted to be a captain I probably have quite a lot of options to go through and get all the legacies I want um First stage. I guess maybe level range is messing me up. First stage relics. That's just Thorin's Hall. Which I haven't even completed that quest for yet. Okay, I don't know. Oh, these must be like lower level stuff. I wonder if there's a hunt. No, there can't be a hunter because if we looked up the word hunter, it would show up. That sucks. Um. Yeah, it seems a bit barren. I don't know if it's just the wrong timing or if all the other stuff's getting bought up. Or one thing that could be a thing is a lot of people are like at max. So they're playing um, like regular servers rather than playing on legendary stuff. Which is entirely possible and I think quite likely as well. Um... And I'm also kind of interested to see what happens when eventually, because it will eventually happen, uh, eventually um, the server's going to catch up. So I wonder how that's going to uh, affect... Oh, the, yeah, the skirmish things out here. I wonder what they're going to do when it gets to, like, on-level stuff. Like Elder Slade or War of Three Peaks and stuff. I don't know if they'd like merge it to be a regular server and then maybe relaunch the legendary servers again. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see one day because uh, I think we're still quite a bit behind. Right. I should be able to use these. Cool. Uh, so let's get my reputation up and then look. I'm an outsider. Oh, that's going to be even more. That I've got. Okay, let's buy 10 at a time for the minute. Which is a lot. It's a lot. But it's fine. Okay. And then one more. So 21 total. That's fine. And then I think it's outside the hut. Is where the vendor is. Because it should just be. Or it might be inside. It might be inside. Um, so we'll make sure to pick that up. At some point, we'll need to go to Ziggeland. Uh, but we'll leave that for a bit because I know one of the quests here does take us there. So there's no point in fretting too much. We'll also complete that quest whilst we're here. And then uh, we'll try and get to a region. I think the best way is what I said, where I said um, probably the best way to get to Ekad Dunan is go to Ekad Candleth. Uh, I think from Ekad Candleth, we can get to Gwingris pretty easily. Even if we can't get to Dunan. And then we can go from there to there. Um, it'll be slow travel. But it's quicker. Probably. Than manually doing it. And it also means what I can do. Is. I'll pick up that quest. I can just put us on the like BRB screen. And then I'll go grab something to eat. Whilst we travel. Probably won't be that long. Like I, I, I will be quicker. Than the game will be. For sure. But. Uh, you? I am to be of help to you no. Maybe. Yes. Awesome. Uh, so that's why I want. And then we go to Rivendell. I should probably get rid of that.
And I think we can go there from here. Like regular travel. But I think overall it is quicker for me to swift travel to Echo Candlest. Just because we cut that distance. Um, and I don't think we go all the way around here. I think it's more likely we go around that way. Because I don't think I've ever gone from Echo Candlest to... Uh, anywhere else. Like to uh, Origin area. But... Yeah, I don't know. How many lottery points do we get from that? We got five. Actually, that makes a lot of sense, because it's 10, then it's 15, then it's 20, because you get 50 for Kindred. Which also reminds me, I need to really be trying to keep as many Mathems as possible, because I realized, like, the, the problem is with Mathems is they're harder to get, but the quest you have to do to get them, like, the two level 20 reputation items are Cardolan Trinkets and World Cup Mathems. Cardolan Trinkets, you have to do, like, a couple level 20 quests in order to be able to do, or level 19 quests. Whereas the Mathams, you don't. You have to do, like, a level 8 quest, which is, hey, talk to this person, what and that's it. Um, so, they're a lot quicker to do. It's The problem is, it's, uh, they're harder to obtain. They're a bit more rare. But I guess they are, have a higher variety of enemies you can get them from, like, they're less frequently dropped, but more enemies drop them. But card airline trinkets are still a better one. But I was thinking if I could just like occasionally gather them, get a character to level 20, um, get some lottery points along the way anyway um, from getting them to 20, because even just exploration deeds and some slayer deeds you get across the way is also a nice thing. And then I guess by the time you're 20, if you've got someone helping as well, you could probably do those two quests and then you can get an extra 100 lottery points. Obviously, our Cardolan trinkets are so much easier to get. Right. So, from here, How can I be we can go to Eckad Erygian. So, I'm going to go for that because it's just a further travel. And then from Eckad Erygian, we can go uh, just travel from here to here. I'm also thinking about getting that campsite. But actually, it doesn't matter because if we get in the travel skill, it shouldn't matter. But we'll go to Eckad Erygian. I'm going to quickly go grab a drink and possibly a bite to eat because it's going to take a little while and I can't redo really anything during it and then we will be right back so I'll see you in just a little bit um we might come back earlier but well I'll definitely come back earlier but we'll see uh, where we are by that point all right see you in a bit talk about perfect timing we're back right in time for us to uh be at this place but obviously we are going to just be traveling to Eka Dunan quickly. In fact, I think it's probably quicker from here just to uh, manually travel. Honestly, the bigger thing for me is like, well, not only was that perfect timing, so that's great, but it's the traveling from or getting from the Troll Shores to Gwengris is like my biggest thing. Um, so, yeah. So I think if we just go straight forward and uh, yeah, I don't know. See how this goes with this quest. I actually don't know what quest we have to do. But uh, it should be easy enough. It's a level 50 quest, so it'll be... Um, it'll be on level. In fact, it actually should give us some decent experience, I would have thought. I don't know if it'll be, like, amazing experience, but... Considering our main focus is getting to level 50 today and getting this, um, we'll probably will finish off after this. Uh, it's been two hours, so it's a little bit less than I normally do. But I, as I said uh, earlier, I do have uh, some... I was planning on streaming longer, but I have had some stuff come up, so um, I wanted to at least get this done, but it allows me to go off and get everything I need to get done. Done. Um, but yeah, hopefully next time we should have a, a longer session in us. So we've already got the travel skill here. Who do I have to talk to? 
Lay of the land. Who do I talk to? Tenuriel. You. Lay of the land. Oh. Okay. So. The ruins of Erygian. So we just have to go and like. Find stuff. Uh, Erygian. Den of the beasts. And. Ruins of Erygian. Now. I have a thing for this. So let's just get that up. Um, Because I used this before. When we did the deeding episode here. Recently. I should. Well I was saying. I sh oh this is actually really easy. Because <laughs> it just shows me where they are all already. Um, so I technically don't even need. The deed stuff. But it's good to have. Um, the stuff available. So I've already got that. That we've obviously found. Burnt Tor. Yeah, Burnt Tor's there. I don't know what that area is. Uh, that is Sad Umravel. Gwingris, we should have already found. Pembar's there. Mirabelle's down there. We'll have to do those. So we'll do those as we go. Like back. We'll loop around. I think. I really should have got that. That would have been a good thing to uh, obtain. But I, I didn't realize that this quest is just, hey, complete these deeds. Um, so, yeah. That's... Uh, I wonder what would happen if you just completed it already. I guess it would just be an instant completion. But It's whatever. This won't take us that long to do. Apparently it's a level 51 quest. You just have to be level 50 to do it. So I wonder, because it's deeding, if we'll even get experience for it. I don't know. We get legendary item experience for it, so I would have thought we'd get regular XP for it. But obviously that's not what we're here for. We're here primarily for the... Uh, for the skill that we get. No, this is not. It's further over this way, apparently. This is why I got the map up, because otherwise I would not have seen that. It is kind of annoying that they don't show, like they don't finish off the ones that are completed. But I also get that it's it's just showing them all. It's not tracking them. It's just saying, hey, find everything. Because these are on the tracker, but that's not what's on the map. It's the actual quest. Um, I think it would be a bit too easy if you could just go on the map and it would tell you, hey, this is where this is. All right. Barrett Morlas. Mirabelle's down there, which we do need to get because we should get the travel skill. Uh, well, not the travel skill, but the stable master. But I don't know what's up here. This is uh, Torek Ladnell, apparently. Which we haven't got. You, it's pretty easy to tell because, obviously, anything with a flag is something that we have. Um, so, yeah. How dare you knock me off my horse. That was very cruel of you. I don't know what actually knocked it off, but... Uh, it was the, the Glowfly. I'm pretty sure because it was the last bit of damage I took. That was very, very cruel of you. I'm very upset. I'm going to go cry now. Okay. Uh, Gwingris we should already have, so that's good. I should have actually picked up the campsite, to be honest. Because then I could have come back down here really quickly. Because now I'm going to have to go across the map. Which kind of sucks, because... Uh, where? Okay, where is everything? Like, these areas are probably, like, these areas. And then Pembar's there, and then there's going to be something else here. Oh, wait, no. Two of them are here, so one, two... So there's only three left, which means one, two, three, probably. It's because this is in the way. There's not, like, a perfect place for it, because I can't... Oh, I can! I didn't think I could just get it off the... Outside the map. Oh, it doesn't actually... 
Doesn't actually let me, but I can do that. That's kind of sad. Maybe I should keep it up here for the minute. It's just some areas have, like, nothing down here. So it's generally, or like a lot of areas actually, have nothing down here. So it's pretty good for it. But it just means that when there is an area that has it, it's a bit annoying. Okay, I discovered a location that wasn't even needed. Kind of good, kind of bad. I guess this is good, though, because we can uh, at least have some of this done for when we come and do uh, some of the other stuff. Uh, like, Den of Beast and this will already be done. So it's two, two less deeds to worry about in the later run. But it's not like we're doing a deeding episode when we get here. It's just going to be... We'll come over at some point and do some deeds. Um, I'm sure we'll even just do a bunch of quests because we'll have to. And Pretty much doing the quests get a majority of the deeds off anyway. Because you'll explore most places like we already are. Um, when we get to Pemba. Good. We explore most places already. But we'll also explore places when we actually come through here. Um, and then the quests take us to like the remaining places. Complete the quest deed. Get a majority of Slayer done. Um, and then, yeah, we just have to spend a bit of time doing uh, the other stuff. Just filling up the Slayer. Right. So, I don't know. Okay, so Torek Borgenol. He is apparently... Oh, okay, so there's one here. So this is all, like, the same area. I don't know why it's all set up like that. That's really weird. Why, like, there's one... Like, this is separate from... The... I, I don't understand. But this one that you can barely see... That I only know because I looked at the map... On my other screen... Is, uh... Torek Bornegal... And then, yeah, Mirabel on there, and then we can come back here. I don't actually know. Maybe it is worth it. We might be desperate flight when we're down here, because it might at least take us to Mirabel at the very least. Or maybe we should try and finish at Mirabel, because then we can just get the Stable Master back. I just don't know how... Like, we're probably going to have to go talk to her to finish the quest. Like, that makes sense. So, we won't be able to get this until we actually get back to Eka Dunan. I think this is probably the one that's taken the longest. Like, the majority of the other stuff is just, you either get it or you have to, like, search some tracks. Like, the first, this is the last one we have to do a quest for, I think. Because they do Wilderness by Othgoroth, Track Through Evendem, Desolation by Orcare, Waste near and uh, Gath forth near, lay of the land. This is the only one where we've got like the others. You just like, I think, looking at them. Let's have a quick look. I know wait, uh, Gath forth near one. You have to like find the brooch, and then you have to find the orc skull for orc care. The other one, you, yeah, you read the subtle tracks, and then Oscar Earth, more subtle tracks, and then they make this one, the last one, and you just do two deeds. And I think they're quite fitting deeds. Um, and then they just sort of went away with it and went, eh, we'll just make it all... Uh, make everything... Um, reputation. That's what I was looking for. Couldn't think of it. Alright, once this is done, we'll be finishing off the night then, because I think it's a perfect place for us to end. I might try and go in Moria off stream, because I am playing this character off stream occasionally as well. It's not a stream only thing, but uh, I have been streaming a lot. But we might be going into like Moria, trying to grab some weapons and stuff, um, or even some rusted dwarven tools or crystal tablets. Um, 
because then we can just barter those for weapons. Because really, as soon as we can get past these ones, the like introductory ones that have, um, like ideally I want to, actually it doesn't even matter because I can't deconstruct it. But uh, ideally we want to, yeah, get newer ones that go to 60 instead of 40. So it doesn't even matter if we max this one out because we can't deconstruct it to get anything from it. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, we can try and get some better stuff from here. And then... Um, yeah, level those up. Do what we need to do with them. I can't mine those yet. That's sad. Also, might, yeah, just go around grabbing a load of ores, honestly. Okay, so that one's done. So now it only shows the Ruins of Origium, which is just Mirabelle to go. And Virtue Experience, lovely to see. I'll also make sure that I pick up that uh, Ruined thing at some point, if I can. Because, why the heck not? Because, uh, yeah, I didn't pick up the one from Gwingris because we didn't need to. Since we didn't stop over there, it didn't make sense as well. Um, so I guess when we come back at some point and do the questing for this area... We'll probably do that, but I think if I'm going to do deeding, I am going to do this sort of in order. So we'll probably go back to like Freeland first, complete a load of these, because I only need, yeah, what, seven more quests uh, for that area. So we'll just complete like seven easy quests. I probably even have some in Freeland. Yeah, I've got like two already, but I'm not sure this one counts. Um, and then, yeah, we can just grab these quickly, because Slayer isn't a huge deal. I've also done Brigands. Brigands like the super easy one, but. Yeah. Uh, so first things first, we'll grab the Peculiar Rubble because otherwise I'll forget. Because they don't let you jump through here, which I think is really dumb. And took me so long to find it because I was told it was near like the post box and I was going to go through there. And if I'd gone through there, I would have seen it. Which is probably why they don't let you see it, let's be honest. Um, so I can't remember how to get to the Stable Master. Ah, it's over here. It's probably a terrible idea, but at the same time, we're going on a stable master, so actually doesn't matter. Do uh, Ekad Dunan. And then, yeah, we can just relax for a bit. Oh, does it actually slow? Does it s slow down these? Looks to be so. That kind of sucks. So, we should see it speed up in... Yeah, okay. I I didn't actually know that that was a thing. I legitimately had no idea that fall damage would affect the horse. It makes sense. But, yeah, because it's like not our horse. I assumed... It does not really make sense in the grand scheme of things, because we broke our legs, or like injured our legs, so why is the horse going slower? I don't know. It's weird. Um, oh, I just can't sell that. I was like, why is that in my inventory still? Am I keeping it? And you... We will just get rid of. Anything else? Nope. I need to get a woodworker going, because I don't have one yet. Um, but at the same time, I don't really need one right now. Because, like, I want to upgrade one so I can get a bow. But at the same time, I've already got a bow and it's a legendary weapon. And I'll just meld or trade or get drops from, like, higher level ones as we go. So it's like, am I eventually ever going to need it? At the same time, I do technically need a woodworker for, like, my lore master. Um, at the minute. But that's all lower level stuff. And eventually, we are going to probably be able to craft ourselves legendary weapons. So, it's probably worth it. Because 
Because if we can eventually, you know, get every character, obviously, to the highest thing in the guild, we can make legendary items. We could even sell them if we wanted to, or allow people to be like, hey, I've got the blemished symbol of Celebrimbor, or whatever the first stage one is, the Elder King thing. Is that what it's called? Um, I was trying to find out if there were any for sale earlier. I'm too busy to do that now. That just, that's rude. I guess we'll wait till we're uh, over there. Have a look at it. Symbol of the Elder King. Blemish symbol of the Elder King. That's what I'm thinking of. That's for level 100 first ages. And they cost ancient Ithil coins, which you can get from Friend of the Dread Terror. So at that time, I'll be like, hey, does anybody want to help me? Okay, we're finally here. Let's go give in this quest. My W key's apparently not working. There we are. Right, let's see how much uh, XP this gives. I'm actually somewhat interested. Uh, 3,500. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be really easy XP if you had just already done all of them, but I guess uh, it's fair. So... Putting these back on, we now have uh, Surikaila and Eka Dunan. I never know why Guide to the Misty Mountains is so far. Like, it should be back here. I don't understand it. But we can now get back here with ease, which is lovely to see because we are six levels away from getting... Um... Yeah, we're six levels away from the Moria one. So this is our closest thing. And as we proved earlier, getting here is quite a trip uh so if i can just get here quicker like if we had to make the trip to uh rivendell to here down to here down to here all the way to here to the dolven view or from during threshold to the dolven view to the 21st hall that's a lot to go whereas we can just sort of cut that in half um and eventually completely get rid of that because uh, the 21st hall is a pretty good place uh to sort of hold off on so definitely worth it in my opinion is there anything here that we want i don't think any of these they're all scholar yeah all scholar items and we've already got these shot in the darks and stuff right then i think that's us done for the day uh, as i said it is a little bit of a shorter stream unfortunately i have some things that i need to get done that have come up so just the way things go unfortunately but Either way, thank you all for coming along, and I will see you in the next stream, which, what day is it today? I've lost track. Thursday. I'm probably streaming on Saturday. Um, I might even stream tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but Saturday should be. If not, it will be Tuesday, probably, the next stream after that. But uh, trying to keep a good balance between videos and streams uh, recently. So hopefully it all works. But either way, that's me done, and I'll see you all later.